Warning, this is a part two of a two-part video, so if you haven't done part one yet, please make sure to go back and do part one first. Now to finish our Asteroids game. So last time we started it, we had a game that had a ship that flew around and it used the clone tool to clone uh, our laser gun so our spaceship could shoot a laser. Uh, what we're going to do today is figure out how to find it. So once you're logged back into Scratch, you push on the little down arrow here, click on My Stuff, and then in a second it will load up here in the center. Um, and you can see here is my work from last time, and I'm just going to say See Inside to continue coding. Here's what our project is going to look like when it's complete. So we've got we're going to have our ship that can fly around. There's we use no the space bar to blast all the asteroids There's that no come up asteroids. and they appear randomly all over the place. Some are big, some are small. Dad, they're not okay. So how do we do this? How do we get all those asteroids? So I'm going to click on my program from last time and say see inside and it's going to load up. So here's what we did last time. We have our ship that flies around and it blasts, but no asteroids. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create an asteroid. So I'm going to go down here into my sprite area. I'm going to hover over the little cat button and I'm going to paint a new sprite. Paint. Okay. You can draw your asteroid any way you like. Here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to choose my paintbrush and I'm just going to make a wobbly wavy looking blob. And then I'm going to use my paint bucket to fill it in. You can make it any color you want. Dad, look how big my asteroids are. Now. Whoa, that's huge. Okay, so we've painted our asteroid. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to paint the same asteroid if it was blown up. So over here under costume one, I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to duplicate it. And now I'm just going to make it look like it's blasting apart. The way I like to do that is I use this line tool and I just kind of make it look like a blast is shooting out of it like this. <laughs> Kind of like the time the Death Star exploded. And then I use my fill tool and you could fill that with yellow or red or orange or whatever blue, whatever color you think an exploded asteroid might look like. Oh, just like that. So we have two costumes, our asteroid and our exploded asteroid. Make sure to join it back to the start there, Quinn. There you go. Okay. Now you can use your fill tool. Yeah. Dad, look. <laughs> this is what mine looks like bursted, Dad. Yep. Okay, so we've created that. The first thing we're going to do is set its initial conditions. So again, make sure we're clicked on Sprite 3, which is our asteroid over here. We're going to click on Code up here. And we're going to go to Events and say when flag is pushed. So we want to set up our initial conditions for the code. Now we don't want our exploded asteroid on screen when we start. What we want to do is we're going to go under Looks. We're going to switch Costume to costume one. Okay, mine's so that's the Quinn. I named mine Quinn. That's the unexploded costume. Costume one, I guess. And then we're gonna hide it. We don't want it to appear on the screen yet. So those are our initial conditions for our asteroid. We're gonna hide them. And you know what I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna make mine a little smaller. I'm gonna set my size to um I don't know, let's say Quinn, you're gonna wanna maybe set your initial size to like twenty percent. I'm going to set mine to 60. Wait, how big is mine? I just need to remove well, you could get rid of the hide block for now. Uh, oh my god, I can't even see it. Doug. Well, get rid of your hide block. Double click oh, wait, on the show hided. block. Oh, yeah, 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 it's hided. Okay, and you can, then you can push the uh, so flag can... and decide is I'm that a good size. I show? I don't know. I can't even see what size my asteroid is. You got to oh, yeah. double click the show block. Do you think that looks good, Daddy? I click the show block. Yep. Yeah, I think that's good too. Sprite three. Sprite three. Okay, Sprite three is our asteroid. Okay, and we're gonna set up a forever loop. So we're gonna say forever. Forever. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and wait. Where's that? Is that a control? Yeah, we're gonna say wait, and it by default it says wait one second. So we need to decide how many seconds will our game wait before a new asteroid will show up. Will Maybe it wait one second? Three? Three seconds? Okay. We can always change this. So wait three seconds. And then 
We're going to do the following. We're going to create a clone of myself. So wait three seconds and then create a clone of myself. All right, so now we need to write the code for when we create a, con a clone. So here, let's do it. So let's scroll up and say, when I start as a clone, what do we want to do? Well, the first thing we want to do is we want to show. We're going to wait. Uh, so what are we going to do? We're going to go under looks and we're going to say show. Show. Yeah. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to set it to a random size. OK, that way all our asteroids look a little different and it makes it harder or easier. So we'll do this. We'll say set size two and we'll drop that here. Set size two. Yep. And it says 100% um, for now. Set size two. 100%. And we're going to go down into operator so we can get a random number. Operator. Pick random one to 10. Yep. So we'll grab our block, pick random one to 10 and drop it in there. And we're going to say, oh, we're going to make going. our block anywhere. I'm going to say for me, somewhere between, uh, let's say 40 and 80%. That me, probably way. Probably 40 mm. and no. What so when I start as a clone, show, set size, or so then what we're going to do is we're going to go under motion and we're also going to make it point towards the ship. So we pick up the one that says point towards uh, mouse pointer mm, where does it say and point drop that in. Towards mouse pointer. Yep. Uh, well, instead of pointing towards mouse pointer, we're going to have it point towards sprite one. Sprite one is our spaceship. So by default, it's going to point towards our spaceship every time a new one appears. Okay. And, oh, I forgot a step. Before we point it to a sprite one, we want it to go to a random position. So we're going to drag that above the other one. Okay. So we're going to make it appear in a random place. We're going to have it point towards sprite one. Now, one thing about having it appear in a random position is that sometimes it might appear where the spaceship is and then it'll blow you up. But that such is life. These are the dangers of space travel, boys. Okay. So if we push flag right now, we'll see. We'll just have every one second a new asteroid will just appear on the screen. It'll be rotated differently depending on the way that our spaceship is rotated, Jeez. and it'll be Jeez, different sizes. Close to me. Okay. They're coming close to me. Now the game is don't touch the asteroids. Okay. I'm gonna push stop, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say this. Are you ready? We're gonna create a forever loop. Control, and we'll drop it here. Okay. So as long as this asteroid clone exists, we're going to go under motion and we're going to have it. We'll grab the move 10 steps block and drag it under our forever loop. And we're going to say we'll move one step. Wait, I put an if loop. You and always, loop. If, you, if you want it to be harder, you can just change the number, right? Yeah, that's right. So we could have it move. If we wanted fast asteroids, we could say move 10 steps. If we want slow, we could say and one. The asteroids will go like Beep. So those are the, these are the two things we would change in our game is how long it waits before it creates a new one and how, how fast it Look, moves. it's moving. So yeah, let's push our flag and now we should have asteroids that ah. show up every three seconds and they're moving towards the initial position of our uh, ship. Now you can see as I blast, it doesn't blow anything up. But now we get lots of crazy random moving asteroids that are flying that. all over the screen. So <laughs> now what we want to do is we want to detect if I get shot by a laser beam, I'm going to explode. So mm -hmm. in our forever loop, we want to check to make sure if our asteroid is being touched by what? Sprite, Sprite two. 2. That's right, which is our laser beam. So, so we need to go into it. We need to grab an if control. Yeah, we need an if under control. So we'll say if. Then. And then well, what are we going to do? The if triangle then. The, we yep. need to go in sensing. Yep. Touching mouse pointer. Touching mouse. No. And then touch the one that's saying touching mouse pointer. And then, and then change, change, change it to two. sprite 2. You got it. Sprite 2. So if it's touching sprite 2, then we're going to do a couple of things. Oh, yeah. I Switch know costume one. to costume 2. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Looks. And then switch to costume 2. Mm-hmm. And we put it there. Yeah. And then maybe we want to play an explosion sound. Do you want to do that? Mm. You don't have to. 
I prefer my medium because it's it's, it's a bit loud. Okay, so let's skip that. But that's a an exercise for anyone watching. If you want to make an explosion sound, you can go into sounds and record a new one. Um, so we'll make it switch costumes. We're gonna throw in an event. We're just gonna make it a um, yeah, under. Yeah, look, it's working kind of. Yeah, under control. We're gonna have it wait for point two seconds. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm gonna stop my what game. Is this? What do we do, Daddy? So under control, we're going to grab the weight one second. I'm going to change it to like 0.2 seconds. So that's like if you chopped a second into five pieces, 0.2 is a fraction of that. You were learning about fractions at school, right? So that's 0.2 is one fifth of a second. Cool, huh? All right. So And then, you know what we're going to do? We're going to kill our clone. We're going to say delete this clone. It's the end of the Clone Wars. Daddy. And Look, I Daddy, it. mine's working. Boom. I don't have any asteroids. Boom! Anyone doesn't have any asteroids? Try pushing start and stop. Boom! Bam! Bam! No, it's not working. No. Bam! Bam! How's your Daddy? Boom! Daddy, it's working. I'm shooting them in there. All right, so let's debug Liam's. Here we go. I'm going to stop mine. Let's look over here. So let's look at our code underneath Sprite 3. And it says forever. Oh. You know what you're doing yeah. every time through your forever loop? Mm. So here's what it does. It moves one step. It <laughs> checks, hey, am I touching Sprite 2? If I am, I'm going to switch costumes and wait one second. And that's all having in this if block. And then mm. every time mm. through this loop, you're also deleting the clone uh, after it moves one step. So where does that need to change? There. there you go. I think the last thing we need to do, guys, is keep score. What do we need to do to keep and score? When the mm -hmm. And when the ship touches the... The oh yeah, destroy, that's right. Okay, so the, we got to add those two things. So which one do you want to do first? Do you want to keep score or blow up our ship? Keep, keep score. score. Okay, where do we go? Um, so we need to create we need a to go variable. In a variable. Okay. And create a uh, make a variable mm -hmm. and then write score. Variable. Yeah. S C O R E. S C O R E. For this sprite only, right? Uh, nope. We can just make it for all sprites. Okay. okay. If you're not sure, make it for all sprites. That's why that's the default option, okay? All right. Now, you'll notice that we have uh, our ship X, our ship Y, our ship rotation all appearing up here at the top. We don't need to see those anymore. Yeah, hide them. So we can just go and uncheck each one except for score. And then we can pick up our score and drag it wherever we want. You can have your scoreboard at it the top. It still has those things though, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, it still remembers them. It's just not showing them to us. So what do we do if we want to increase our score? So we'll have to like set my score to zero first. Because if because it won't, we first need to set our score Okay, to zero so let's put that in uh, when flag is pushed. Set my variable to zero. And then we'll change that to score. Okay. What else? Hmm. Let's see. Add one. Well, I know what we need to do, but I don't know what to do. So we want to change my variable by one. And we'll just oh, drag yeah. that in before we delete the clone. Okay. So we'll drag it there. And we'll change it from my saying my variable mm -hmm. to saying score. Change so we'll say variable. change score by one. Okay. Let's test it. See if we get some... See if we can increase our score when we blast an asteroid. Pew pew. Pew pew pew. Um, it's working for me. Pew pew pew. Last. last thing. Okay. Let's make these asteroids dangerous. Are you ready? Okay. Yes. We're going to make it so the asteroids, if they're touching us, they make us explode. <laughs> so, I'm going to go back to my rocket ship. Okay. Sprite rocket one. Ship. I'm going to click on my rocket ship, rocket ship my Sprite one. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we can see we've done some stuff in, this is what we did last time. And we're going to need to check for one other condition, which is... Um, if it's like touch, if it's touching asteroid and game, it has to yeah. say game. And, and we need to make another costume for it so that it has an exploded costume. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, so let's pick up our if statement and drag it down here. Yeah, so we'll say if. Mm. I don't know. If touching. Yeah, so under sensing, if touching. And we don't want to check if it's touching the mouse pointer. We want to check to see if it's touching. Co no. Touch. Touching asteroid. The asteroid, which we've, which is called Sprite 3 for us. And mine is called Quinn. Quinn. Okay. 
<laughs> if touching, okay. So if touching sprite three, Switch then we, we want some stuff to happen. Uh, we want to maybe Hi, have it. Here. Well, let's go under looks and say. So let's have it say. Game over for two seconds. So under hello. So I dragged in the say hello for two seconds block, and I'm going to say game over. And then under controls, we're going to have the whole thing stop. So there's this stop block. I'm going to drag my stop block in here. We'll end the whole game by just dragging in the stop all. Where do you find the control? Under control. Okay, so that stops every all of the code from running. And it has to go inside that if block. Where? Yeah. Right there. Okay, if you drag it outside that, that'll be like the problem Liam had a second ago. And it would stop everything every time it ran through the loop. Okay, so we're going to stop all. And then, just like Liam was saying, we want um, to create a costume of an exploded ship. So I'm going to click on costumes. And right now I have my ship and my ship with uh, fire coming out the back. I need to duplicate both of them. I'm just going to duplicate number one. And I'll... Right click and say duplicate. I'm going to drag it down so it's my third costume. And then, uh, just like the exploded um, asteroid, I like to use these lines just to create kind of a, an explosion coming out the back here. Pretty exciting. Which one do I do? The line one? That's what I do. But if you wanted to, you could literally just get your crayon and scribble all over it. It's up to you. That's what I like to do, though. There's my exploded ship. Okay, so let's go back to our code. And then change costume. We'll have to change costume. Yep. Switch to costume three. Yep, switch to costume three. We'll drag. It has to drag. Okay, so let's try it. Push our flag. Let's fly but around. Daddy, let's look, get hit by an asteroid. So drive into the first asteroid Dad, you see. I, see oh. if you explode. But Daddy, look. When I stop. Game Daddy. over. Daddy. Daddy. Oh, I, Daddy. Daddy. There's a problem. Alrighty. So... One thing I noticed, I don't know if you noticed this, Liam, I want to switch my costume before I say game over. How about you? Because what happens is it says game over, but it doesn't change until after. So I'll test it again. So my order is switch to costume three, then say go game over for two seconds, and then stop everything. Boom, it worked. I love it. So now let's see if you can get the high score. How high a score can you get? Before you, you explode. Your description. I already just add the score that you got, and we can see if we got. Oh, the I got score. a score of two. <laughs> I probably got worse. All right, let's... No, I have a score of two. We hope you had fun learning how to make an asteroid game, and uh, if you did have fun, make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs>